In this tutorial, we're going to tackle creating the Ubermenu tab from the Ubermenu demo site. So this is what it will look like at the end. And there's a very helpful resource in the Ubermenu support guide. If you go to adding content to your Ubermenu, the Ubermenu tab, you'll see that there's this diagram of exactly how this particular submenu is laid out. You can enlarge that so you can see the whole thing you'll see that there's actually only two real menu items here. There are two second level menu items. One is a widget item, and the other is a content override item. So when you add widgets, the single widget item will always take up an entire row, and the widgets inside that widget area will become the columns. So you can see here's this one menu item. You can see it has a widget area attached to it. And this widget area takes up one row. Now there's these three separate widgets inside that widget area which are added in the in the normal widgets section of the back end. So you can see Uber menu widget area one and it has one, two, three widgets in it and those form the three columns. So now let's recreate that on our demo site here. You can see we've got all these other menu items created, but now we're going to create the Uber menu item. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Uber menu control panel. And we're going to set up the menu to be able to work with widgets. So we're actually going to turn on allow content overrides because we'll be using those later. And for now, we just want one widget area. And this will allow us, this will create widget areas in the appearance widgets uh, page and then allow us to attach it to particular menu items. So we don't want top level widget items. Those are widgets that will always be displayed. So you rarely want to use those. And we will use Google Maps. Although this theme already includes the Google Maps API. So if your theme does that, you'll want to turn it off. save our settings. Now when we go to appearance widgets you'll see that we have this uber menu widget area 1 here and this is where we can add our widgets that will appear in the menu. So in our demo menu we've actually just got three text widgets. So drag a text widget into the uber menu widget area, give it a title, and then we've just used the uber menu recent post short code save that. Our second widget is another text widget that just has a map shortcode in it. So we'll drag another text widget into the widget area, give it a title, and then paste our map shortcode. These shortcodes are described in more detail within the support guide. So let's save those both for now. We'll go over to the Appearance Menus page. And now what we'll do is we'll add another menu item below the Uber menu item. So we can call this whatever we want. Because this is just going to be a container of widgets. So the title won't actually be displayed. What we're going to do is we're going to click Disable Text and Disable Link because it's just going to contain a widget area. Then we're going to tell it which widget area we want to display. Because we only set it to have one widget area, there's only the one that we created available. So we select that. And we'll click Save Menu. And we're also going to check that we want uh, this submenu to be full width. Uh, You'll almost always want to do that if you're using widgets unless you want to manually set the widths of the submenus. So now when we refresh the home page, you'll see that we have an Uber menu with our two widgets in two columns. Once we add that third widget, it'll create our third column from the original demo. And we'll cover that in the next part of this tutorial.